imagine this. I'm playing basketball, and my teammate gets a steal. I'm running down the court on a two-on-one. And instead of giving me a drop-off pass for a layup, he did a behind-the-back no-look pass. It bounced off my face and went out of bounds. I got blamed for it, but that wasn't what I was upset about. I was upset because he wanted to show off instead of just passing the ball. But this wasn't just my teammate. This situation is becoming the norm in all of high school basketball. I'm on the JV basketball team, so I'm always around basketball, and I end up watching a lot of games, whether they are at LA Fitness, at high school games, or even at professional ones. All I see when I watch these games are people trying flashy passes, like the no-look one, but also pl players chucking up long threes and complicated fast break layups. Basketball is getting ruined because kids worry about making the coolest play instead of wanting to win games. Why do they do this? It's simple. Highlights and highlight reels. Before highlight reels took off, you couldn't pay someone to film you and make a highlight reel. You just had to be really good to get your own mixtape. Back then, you would have to be a top recruit in high school to have a hoop mixtape and balls life follow you. These channels are big innovators of the mixtape culture. Now, kids' parents are hiring people to film their children for highlight reels. Your children don't need a highlight tape for their freshman team season. Basketball is no longer about who helps their team the most. It's now about who has the best highlight reel. Stopping highlight culture will help high school athletes perform to their best. Many NBA players have spoke out about the detrimental effects of highlight reels on high school basketball players. Timberwolves guard Austin Rivers spoke out on the highlight culture, saying that since highlight reel culture, people have forgotten, quote, the little things in basketball, like the fundamentals, and that basic basketball isn't appreciated anymore. He says that he never went to a game to make it onto Hoop Mixtape. He went to a game to win. New York Nick, Evan Fournier, responded to a tweet of third graders talking trash, doing celebrations after every point, and chucking up long threes. Responded with the quote, SMH, we need to set a better example for this younger generation, man. This is yet another instance that demonstrates how unfavorably NBA players feel about the highlight culture. All sports players are going to exaggerate their skills, but highlight reels take it to another level. In a Sports Illustrated article titled, High School Benchwarm Has Action-Packed High Highlight Reel for Recruiters, high school football player Jack Lenahan, who was a benchwarmer who made a highlight reel, the article stated that he cared more about his high school clips than improvement. This benchwarmer who barely played during the season tricked everyone to think he was good, but in actuality, he didn't have the stats to back it up. There are also basketball players who have done this for their whole lives. For example, a basketball player who shaped people's views of his basketball skill for the better is Julian Newman. He was first brought into the spotlight when he scored 92 points in a middle school game. In an opinion piece from Los Angeles Oil and Kasim Diakate noted that Julian Newman gained notoriety in 2012 for his crazy handles and limitless range. As a middle schooler, he had his own reality TV show about his life, and when I was a kid, and I saw him in middle school, I thought to myself, this kid is going to the NBA. When he got to school, high school, though, he still made highlight reels like he used to in middle school, except he was terrible. This hurts young players because it gives them a standard that is not realistic. Social media is not helping this highlight problem either. Bleacher Report says that me social media makes sports, quote, all about going viral. Going viral drives athletes to make highlight reels. Multiple big high school basketball players have gotten likes and followers from posting these reels. These players have influenced younger and less skillful players to upload highlight reels, just for the purpose of going viral. For example, I've started to see big high school recruits going viral for posting great plays on TikTok. Then, I've seen sixth graders posting the same clip of themselves, making a lucky shot on TikTok or Instagram. The difference between the two is that some already have attention like Mikey Williams, who's actually good. And then there are sixth graders who have two points in his middle school season. Social media is also hurting basketball players off the court. Athletes who watch other basketball players on social media go viral from highlights get jealous, and they feel the need to mimic what they see. These players aren't even the best on their team. They just get a few good clips and post them around everywhere. I would watch these viral videos and think to myself, can I really become a good basketball player, even though these people weren't the first option on their teams? I've thought about posting these edits, too, but in reality, I'm a freshman who only gets a few minutes of playing time. I didn't post any highlight reels because I feel that I need to become really good to back up what I post.
I see these videos and I cringe because the people who post all these edits often use the same plays. It's kind of like if your mom posted the same A you got on a test over and over again. The players spreading these clips make me laugh because they aren't good enough to be posting these edits. High school sports allow teammates to become great friends with each other. They provide the opportunity for accomplishment and give athletes an outlet for scholarship. We shouldn't show young athletes that these great high school sports are just for looking cool or going viral. If young athletes go into their high school seasons expecting to make a highlight reels like big high school recruiters, recruits, their enjoyment of the season will decline. One reason for this is if you expect to go into your JV basketball game and get past five defenders and hit a three and you don't do that, you would devalue yourself and think you're not good enough because the standard is so high from these highlight tapes. This also affects your performance because if you go into a game expecting to do that particular thing for a good clip, you might end up not scoring at all. I learned this the hard way. During my whole season, I was so fixated on scoring that all my shots would feel forced and none would go in. But in my last game, I went in thinking about having fun and just playing basketball, and I hit the first shot I took. Instead of only focusing on making a super cool clip, I went to the game just thinking about having fun, and the right shots naturally flowed to me. I care about this issue because this personally affected me. After realizing that basketball is more than just showing off, I've been playing great. I think sharing my experience could help you with any sport in your life. What I want you to take away from this is to not play a sport to show off, but to instead play a sport because you love it. This mentality will affect how you play greatly. From my experience, if you go into a game wanting to have fun and play, rather than wanting to create a viral clip, you'll see better performance and a more positive attitude. Thank you.